I don't think the gentleman from New York makes a very good point. This is as straightforward as can be. The point of the legislation in front of us is to get people to work in the United States of America. And anyone who deliberately sends jobs overseas is undermining that very point of the legislation of the Workforce Investment Act legislation that's in front of us. And I yield back. John was back in the world and was seeking recognition. If none, the motion occurs on the amendment offered by the gentleman from New York. All those in favor say aye. All those opposed say no. No. The advantage chair of the notes have it. The gentleman's amendment is not agreed to. He requests a recorded vote. Further proceedings on this amendment shall be postponed. Let me take advantage of the pause here for just a minute. We're going to have a series of votes coming up pretty quickly, I think. And uh, in discussions with the uh, ranking members, staff, and others, we're looking for a way to address uh, everybody's schedule this afternoon. And so I'm announcing the current plan, which will hold for as long as I can make it hold. Uh, but when we go to vote, uh, 30 minutes after the last vote starts, we will reconvene here and we will resume debate on any further amendments and continue to roll as we have been all day trying to uh, match up some markup in other committees where we have members uh, having to vote there and, and so forth. So, so everybody has it. Tell your friends, those not here, 30 minutes after the last votes, last vote in the series starts, we can be here and resume debate on amendments. With that said, Mr. Hull has an amendment. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Representative Woolsey and I have an amendment at the desk. It's labeled We Have 01. Clerk will disturb the amendment. Mr. Chairman. General A. from North Carolina. I reserve the point of order on the amendment. General A. reserves the point of order. The gentleman will suspend for just a minute while we take a quick look at this amendment. The gentleman uh, is recognized for five minutes to explain his amendment, and I trust the explanation will take less than the time it will be. Take three to two hundred pages. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you. As the, as the chairman uh, uh, implies, the amendment before us is a fairly large amendment, and that's because there is a quite large gap in the underlying bill and, and the manager's amendment uh, in front of us. Um, as we work to be authorized, we, uh, we mustn't forget Americans who struggle day in and day out to get jobs as they live with uh, and work with and want to work uh, uh, professionally with their development disabilities. Uh, the Consortium for Citizens with Disabilities will to chair line this week about the bill before us. Uh, and I ask unanimous consent that this letter be included in the record. Uh, in their letter, the CCD said, quote, the legislation, that is the Fox bill, uh, does not do enough to address the chronically low labor force participation rate of people with disabilities. It could actually be, be a severe setback to efforts to promote economic independent, uh, independence for this population of Americans. Uh, end quote. Uh, we shouldn't be making it harder for individuals with disabilities to get jobs and to have rewarding careers. Rather than rolling back the clock, the amendment that Ms. Rosie and I are offering uh, provides a comprehensive reauthorization of the Rehabilitation Act. It should be done. It should be here. Um, the CCD went on to say that the sections that constitute this amendment um, can, quote, contain many positive provisions uh, that continue and improve key programs that assist people with disabilities in finding and maintaining employment, end quote. Uh, the Rehabilitation Act is intended to support 
individuals with disabilities in employment, economic self-sufficiency, and independence, with the unemployment rate for individuals with disabilities uh, well above the national average, uh, probably something like 13 percent. Uh, organizations representing people with disabilities across the country have called for a comprehensive reauthorization, and that is what we propose here. The Disability Rights Network wrote to us to say that the provisions, and I also ask that this letter be made uh, part of the record. Uh, uh, wrote to us to say that the provisions in the Home Rules Amendment, quote, continue key policies and programs that assist people with disabilities to find employment. It also establishes new programs that can help people with disabilities find competitive, integrative, integrated employment, uh, end quote. The vocational rehabilitation program serves about a million individuals with disabilities each year. Ninety-two uh, percent of those individuals have significant disabilities. In uh, the past year, vocational, vocational rehabilitation agencies reported as many as 78,000 individuals with disabilities wrote on waiting lists for services during the year. This is a need crying to be met. Uh, we, have, we have to look at the, to the interests of people with, uh, who find themselves without privilege. It's not to disadvantage people with privilege, but people with privilege, by definition, are doing okay. Uh, but there, is, there are large groups of people uh, whose needs we must address in this legislation. When I talk to leaders in the disability community in New Jersey, they tell me we need to take real action to address the issue of high unemployment and the need for improved job training for individuals with disabilities. The underlying bill, the Fox bill, fails to accomplish either of these objectives. Um, it prioritizes program elim elimination above serving individuals with disabilities. It eliminates support and employment services for individuals with the most significant disabilities and in service training for rehabilitation personnel. It fails to update critical programs supporting independent living and disability research, which are long overdue for reauthorization. Uh, the bill that I'm offering with Ms. Wolsey focuses on competitive, integrated employment for all individuals with disabilities. It increases the availability of transition services by requiring the states to provide youth with disabilities job exploration services and mentoring. Our amendment increases dissemination and applicability of disability research, including research to maximize full inclusion in society. Um, I could go on. Uh, the amendment is in front of you. We have shared it with you in advance. Uh, we need it. It should be part of this legislation. And I hope that this amendment uh, will allow inclusion of the uh, reauthorization of the Rehabilitation Act. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Those five other members.